right now, there is a lot of demand for the monkeypox vaccine, but with just a limited supply, enter a technique called dose sparing. The idea is this, split that one Genios vaccine into fifths. It was brought up as a possible solution by the FDA commissioner and received emergency use authorization last week. So what do we know about dose sparing? To get answers, we turn to the White House and the Food and Drug Administration. We also spoke with doctors Dan Baruch and William Moss. Under this approach, a patient would receive a fifth of a normal dose, that is one-tenth of a milliliter, rather than half a milliliter. And it would be given intradermally, or between layers of skin, rather than subcutaneously, meaning under the skin. There is a study that has been published a number of years ago in which the vaccine was given by an intradermal route at one-fifth the dose, and it appeared to generate immune responses that were similar. And that 2015 study is the same one that the FDA referenced in their announcement about the emergency use authorization. The study says that this approach, quote, could significantly increase the number of vaccine doses available in the event of an emergency by fivefold. So that's promising, but it is a small study and we don't have clinical efficacy data on really either approach for the monkeypox vaccine. As for how a one-fifth dose could get the job done? There are a lot of immune cells in the dermis, uh, that layer of our skin, um, just under the under the surface, um, and so if the vaccine is injected into that area, we can get a very strong immune response. And Dr. Moss says that this approach has been used before for things like yellow fever, rabies, and even smallpox. With your Verify, I'm Evan Kozloff.